Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to my channel, Hipsa. Today's video is, you guessed it, my monthly favourites for September. So I have quite a lot to talk to you guys about and I'm going to go right into it because I don't want this video to be too, too long. So fingers crossed. So I'm going to start off with the products that I've been using from Bath & Body Works and every month I really do try and change up the fragrance mist I'm using and the candle I use. So this time I've been using the Winter Candy Apple. This is, I think, a year or two old, so it's the last... Yeah, like the old packaging. I still love the packaging, super adorable with the little polar bear and Christmas tree. And I just, I love this candle because it's just the right amount of sweetness. You can smell the apple, you can smell like the fruitiness, but there's also obviously it's candy apple. So as the title or the name suggests, candy apple. So yeah, I just, I really like this. I have, feel like it also has a little bit of um, a refreshing note to it. So that's why I find like it's just the right amount of sweetness for me. I typically don't really go for overly powering sweet scents, but I always try, try and kind of go out of my comfort zone and try and see if I can find something that's just the right balance. The same with the Apple Blossom and Lavender Fragrance Mist. I feel like it's just the right amount of sweetness, um, it, just the floriness, the fruitiness. It's more fruity than anything. And it has a little bit of floral touch as well to it, hence the, you know, the lavender. So I've been using this fragrance mist non-stop this month. I really love it. It's I think one of my favorites like of all time that I will repurchase along with like the, the white citrus fragrance mist. So definitely recommend it. Go check it out if you would like these kind of typical scents. And next product I want to talk about is actually a brush. So this is the e.l.f. blush brush and I really really like this brush because I feel like it just it's the right amount of size to apply the blush on your cheeks it's tapered a little bit so as you can kind of see it's just a little bit tapered as well it's really nice and fluffy but not too fluffy and it's still a little bit dense that picks up the right amount of um, blush so I thought I quickly mentioned this brush if you are looking for a nice affordable blush brush this is the one I would recommend Speaking of blush, I have actually three blushes that I've been using this month. I'm just going to quickly go mention this one, just because I have mentioned it quite a lot on my channel. Um, it's one of my favourite blushes. This is the Marks and Spencer's Blusher Limited Collection, and it's just in Dusky Rose. I feel like it's just that perfect pinky kind of blush, so that when you just apply it, it gives you a nice cut touch of colour to your cheeks. So the next blush I want to talk about is from e.l.f., and this is their Baked Blush in Peachy Cheeky, I believe is the name. This one unfortunately has on the back. I kind of broke mine a long time ago, so the lid pops right off. And it's just their marbleized kind of blush, and it's just this really pretty, peachy, satiny kind of finish to it. So it gives you a nice glow to your cheeks, as well as giving you colour as well. So there's still good amount of color and pigmentation to this blush. So that's why I really like it. Um, I feel like you can use this as a highlighter as well, if you, especially if you feel fairer skin as well as just like a blush topper. Kind of, sometimes I would mix my blushes, so I would put a little bit of this on top of this, just kind of to give it a little bit of a difference. Um, kind of change it up really, so I've been really loving this blush. The next blush I've been using, and I've been using this on and off throughout the month, and this is a little bit more of a higher end blush. This is the Clinique one, and it's the Cheek Pop in Peach Pop, so you can kind of tell. I think there's going to be a pretty much of a theme going on through this month. So this, this is a really beautiful... I feel like it's a, not even necessarily a matte blush, but it is a satin one as well, but not as shimmery as the e.l.f. one that you can see here. So this is what it looks like. It is a little bit more on the peachy orangey side, but still a beautiful blush that it's just, it gives you a really nice um, touch of colour to your skin. And it's just, it's not too shimmery that you can still kind of wear it if you do want to wear it throughout the day as well. And it really does last for a really nice amount of time. All these three blushes that I mentioned, they last for a really nice amount of time on your skin. And one other thing I do want to mention is how cute is the little flower in the blush. I think this is a daisy as well. Just as a little side note, this is the Marks and Spencer's blush, this is the Clinique one, and this is also the e.l.f. one, just in case you want to quickly swatch. quickly mention this lip balm. It's just an untinted Libello lip balm, and I really like this because it's just it's really nice and moisturizing. I mean, as you can see, I have nearly finished it as well, so I'm going to have to repurchase it again. And it's really nice and affordable, and I just, I just love it because it lasts for a nice amount of time on your lips as well, so you don't have to keep reapplying. Okay, this is, I guess it's not really an, a favourite either, but it's not an unfavourite. I mean, I, I don't, I'm going to try using it a little bit more, but this is the Berry Sim 22 Lip Bar, and I don't know the shade exactly what the shade colour is, but it's just this really, it is a pretty shade, if I can twizzle up for you guys, but I don't know, like, 
it is nice and moisturizing i like the formula but when i don't like the application it just it's, as you can see it kind of gets messy and you can't get a really nice even um sharp line on your lips when you are trying to outline your lips with it so that's what i think i really just don't like i don't like how it applies it kind of goes on messily um and the color for me is really i'm not really used to wearing lips that are red i wear mainly pinks and you know peaches and um a mauve kind of shades as a more natural lip color so this is a little bit out of my comfort zone so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try this a little bit more and see if i can work it but i just i don't like how it applies if it was just a little bit more pointed i guess it would be a lot better but the formula is really nice it is really nice and moisturizing another quick mention nyx pump it up lip plumper this is in Pama, so it's just a clear kind of lip gloss it really does plump up my lips i can feel it working but it's nothing too strong that you feel like your lips are burning you know like you want to just take it off but it's just it's really nice it's just a nice lip plumper like i like wearing alone as well as underneath lip sticks before you know i do the rest of my makeup so thought i quickly mention this as well have been using it on and off throughout the month as well another lip gloss that i've been using i've been using quite a lot of lip glosses this month and i've been using the nyx mega shine lip gloss in beige it's just a really nice I don't know, it's just like the perfect kind of pinky kind of colour so that you can just use it for every day. It has a little bit of tint, has a really nice moisturising formula. It's not too sticky. It smells like cherries, so I really do like it. Um, so I've been using this a lot as well, just if I want a little bit of colour and shine to my lips. Another lip gloss I've been using is actually from Makeup Forever. This is their Lab Shine. I feel like the name is incorrect. It's not exactly Metal Collection. I think it's the Star Collection. That's the, the collection I was thinking of. So these are pretty old. Um, this is the one in S24. It's just that really pretty kind of peachy shade. It smells really nice. It's just, I don't know, it's like a sweet kind of scent. It just, it doesn't last super long. So you do need to wear something like a lip liner or something underneath for it just to last long. I don't know if you can see that. I'll do swatches on my blog for you guys. You can see a little bit better. So this is the Makeup Forever and this is the NYX one. So yeah, I like this one. It's the same kind of nice formula. Doesn't last super long, but it just, it's a really nice, pretty color that if you want a little bit of color to your lips as well as um, just some moisture as well. Last lip gloss is actually the Starlux lip gloss in Mad Crush. So this is just a little mini sample that I got ages ago. And it's just that really pretty, kind of everyday mauve pinky shade. And as you can see, it's pretty pigmented as well. So I've been using this a lot as well this month. And I just, I love the formula. It's really nice and moisturizing, not too sticky. It has a nice color to it. It's kind of like my lip color, but a little bit darker as well. So it's just a great everyday shade. And it has a scent as well. A little bit like on the sweet side as well. Just in case you just want a quick little swatch, I thought I'd just do some swatches for you guys. So this is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Beige. This is the Starlux Lip Gloss in Mad Crush. And this is the Makeup Forever Lip Gloss in S24. So as you can kind of see, there's another trend going on. I'm using a lot of moisturizing products this month. So I been using the elf moisturizing lipstick in ravishing rose and it's just this beautiful kind of every day i feel like a i don't know it's just like a pinky ready mauvey kind of shade it's just i can't describe the color but it's just a really pretty kind of everyday shade um so i've been using this a lot it is pretty pigmented but if, obviously if you want quite a bit of impact you do need to layer it a little bit but i just really like the formula because it's hydrating it lasts for a nice amount of time because of that and it it is it really does wear nicely as well on your lips so the last few products are eyeliners so i'm going to start off with this nyx one here and this is the jumbo eye pencil in black bean i really do like this but i just feel like as eyeliner especially on the waterline for me and even on the top eye eyelid it doesn't last as long as I want to because it's such a creamy, pigmented formula. It doesn't last. Here's a little swatch I did earlier. Um, it just, it's really nice and pigmented, but yeah, I just prefer using this as a eyeshadow base. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I still may use it on and off for eyeliner. You never know. But for me personally, it, I just, it doesn't last as long as I want it to. And it smudges a little bit. The last two eyeliners are both from e.l.f. So I'm going to quickly talk about this one. I have done a review on both of them, but I thought I'd mention them as well. This is the eyeliner, um, the brightening one. So it's not as intense of an eyeliner if you, that you want it. But you can still get a pretty good pigment out of it. So this is it here. And it is kind of like a mixture of a soft and hard pencil. I don't know how because like it, it breaks kind of a little bit easily. But what I do like about this, it goes really nicely on the top eyelid. It does not in the waterline go on at all for me it's, it doesn't stay it, it's very light and 
when it does even go on it just it goes off in like the next two seconds so i do i do like it it's a really nice soft looking eyeliner um especially when you're on days when you want your makeup not to be too intense it's just it's nice and so it lasts an okay amount of time as well on the eyeliner i don't like the sharpening the lid because as you can see the lid is quite messy now but otherwise i do like the so the last product is the waterproof eyeliner pen from elf and i really like this because i find it so easy to make a wing with it um and you, depending on how much pressure you put on the, the pen, you can do a thick line or you can do a really thin line. So you can really control the, the, the pressure and how thick of a line you want to do as well. So that's what I really like about it. It's a pigmented, it's just easy to um, use as well. And the best thing is that you do need to store this just upside down like this. So like tip first. Um, or lid first because other, that way the product will soak up into the tip and you'll get a really nice pigmented line as well So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. These are all my monthly favorites. So I Feel like I did really well this month. I've used quite a lot of products really wanted to change it up this month as well So let me know in the comments below what your monthly favorites are Have any of the products made it to your ride or die list that you cannot live without? I love hearing from you guys, so please do comment down below and as always I'll do a little blog post for you guys It'll be linked down below in the description box just for some swatches and close-ups of the products and stuff like that so, And as well as that I'll also link my social medias down below for you guys if you would like Please do follow me in those just so you're kept in the know when I do upload as well as the odd posts I do well not really odd I'm improving now I'm trying to post daily as well so just funny if you want to know what lipstick I'm wearing for that day or the makeup I'm wearing for that day you can see it all down below there as well I tend to also post some swatches as well on there so yeah so that's I think pretty much it so thank you again so much for watching I will see you soon bye